pharmacists, also known as chemists Commonwealth English or druggists North American and, archaically, Commonwealth English, are health professionals who practice in pharmacy, the field of health sciences focusing on safe and effective medication use. Pharmacists undergo university-level education to understand the biochemical mechanisms and actions of drugs, drug uses, therapeutic roles, side effects, potential drug interactions, and monitoring parameters. This is mated to anatomy, physiology, and pathophysiology. Pharmacists interpret and communicate this specialized knowledge to patients, physicians, and other health care providers. Among other licensing requirements, different countries require pharmacists to hold either a Bachelor of Pharmacy, Master of Pharmacy, or Doctor of Pharmacy degree. The most common pharmacist positions are that of a community pharmacist also referred to as a retail pharmacist, first-line pharmacist or dispensing chemist, or a hospital pharmacist, where they instruct and counsel on the proper use and adverse effects of medically prescribed drugs and medicines. In most countries, the profession is subject to professional regulation. Depending on the legal scope of practice, pharmacists may contribute to prescribing also referred to as pharmacist prescriber and administering certain medications e.g. immunizations in some jurisdictions. Pharmacists may also practice in a variety of other settings, including industry, wholesaling, research, academia, military, and government. Topic. Nature of work Historically, the fundamental role of pharmacists as a healthcare practitioner was to check and distribute drugs to doctors for medication that had been prescribed to patients. In more modern times, pharmacists advise patients and health care providers on the selection, dosages, interactions, and side effects of medications, and act as a learned intermediary between a prescriber and a patient. Pharmacists monitor the health and progress of patients to ensure the safe and effective use of medication. Pharmacists may practice compounding, however, many medicines are now produced by pharmaceutical companies in a standard dosage and drug delivery form. In some jurisdictions, pharmacists have prescriptive authority to either independently prescribe under their own authority or in collaboration with a primary care physician through an agreed-upon protocol called a collaborative practice agreement, increased numbers of drug therapies, aging but more knowledgeable and demanding populations, and deficiencies in other areas of the health care system seem to be driving increased demand for the clinical counseling skills skills of the pharmacist. One of the most important roles that pharmacists are currently taking on is one of pharmaceutical care. Pharmaceutical care involves taking direct responsibility for patients and their disease states, medications, and management of each to improve outcomes. Pharmaceutical care has many benefits that may include but are not limited to, decreased medication errors, increased patient compliance in medication regimen, better chronic disease state management, including hypertension and other cardiovascular disease risk factors, strong pharmacist-patient relationship, and decreased long-term costs of medical care. Pharmacists are often the first point of contact for patients with health inquiries. Thus pharmacists have a significant role in assessing medication management in patients, and in referring patients to physicians. These roles may include, but are not limited to, clinical medication management, including reviewing and monitoring of medication regimens, Assessment of patients with undiagnosed or diagnosed conditions, and ascertaining clinical medication management needs. Specialized monitoring of disease states, such as dosing drugs in kidney and liver failure. 
Compounding medicines Providing pharmaceutical information Providing patients with health monitoring and advice, including advice and treatment of common ailments and disease states Supervising pharmacy technicians and other staff Oversight of dispensing medicines on prescription Provision of and counseling about non-prescription or over-the-counter drugs Education and counseling for patients and other health care providers on optimal use of medicines e.g., proper use, avoidance of over-medication Referrals to other health professionals if necessary Pharmacokinetic evaluation Promoting public health by administering immunizations Constructing drug formularies Designing clinical trials for drug development Working with federal, state, or local regulatory agencies to develop safe drug policies Ensuring correctness of all medication labels including auxiliary labels Member of interprofessional care team for critical care patients Symptom assessment leading to medication provision and lifestyle advice for community-based health concerns e.g. head colds, or smoking cessation Staged dosing supply e.g. opioid substitution therapy Education and credentialing The role of pharmacy education, pharmacist licensing, and continuing education vary from country to country and between regions, localities within countries. In most countries, pharmacists must obtain a university degree at a pharmacy school or related institution, and or satisfy other national, local credentialing requirements. In many contexts, students must first complete pre-professional coursework, followed by about four years of professional academic studies to obtain a degree in pharmacy such as doctorate of pharmacy. Pharmacists are educated in pharmacology, pharmacognosy, chemistry, organic chemistry, biochemistry, pharmaceutical chemistry, microbiology, pharmacy practice including drug interactions, medicine monitoring, medication management, pharmaceutics, pharmacy law, physiology, anatomy, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, drug delivery, pharmaceutical care, nephrology, hepatology, and compounding of medications. Additional curriculum may cover diagnosis with emphasis on laboratory tests, disease state management, therapeutics and prescribing selecting the most appropriate medication for a given patient. Upon graduation, pharmacists are licensed, either nationally or regionally, to dispense medication of various types in the areas they have trained for. Some may undergo further specialized training, such as in cardiology or oncology. <laughs> Practice specialization Specialties include Topic: Training and practice by country Topic: Armenia The Ministry of Education and Ministry of Health oversee pharmacy school accreditation in Armenia. Pharmacists are expected to have competency in the WHO model list of essential medicines (EML), the use of standard treatment guidelines, drug information, clinical pharmacy, and medicine supply management. There are currently no laws requiring pharmacists to be registered, but all pharmacies must have a license to conduct business. 
According to a World Health Organization WHO report from 2010, there are 0.53 licensed pharmacists and 7.82 licensed pharmacies per 10,000 people in Armenia. Pharmacists are able to substitute for generic equivalents at point of dispensing. Topic: Australia. The Australian Pharmacy Council is the independent accreditation agency for Australian pharmacists. It conducts examinations on behalf of the Pharmacy Board of Australia towards eligibility for registration. The Australian College of Pharmacy provides continuing education programs for pharmacists. Wages for pharmacists in Australia appear to have stagnated. The award wages for a pharmacist is $812 a week. Pharmacist graduates are the lowest paid university graduates most years. Most pharmacists to earn above the award wage, the average male pharmacist earns $65,000, a female pharmacist averages $56,500. Over recent years, wages have stagnated, and even gone backwards. There are more graduates expected in the next few years making it even harder to get a job. Job security and increase in wages with regards to CPI could be unlikely. This is due to the large numbers of pharmacy graduates in recent years, and government desire to lower PBS costs. Contract and casual work is becoming more common. A contract pharmacist is self-employed and often called a locum. These pharmacists may be hired for one shift or for a longer period of time. There are accounts of underemployment and unemployment emerging recently. Topic: <laughs> Canada The Canadian Pharmacists Association CPHA is the national professional organization for pharmacists in Canada. Specific requirements for practice vary across provinces, but generally include a Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy from a recognized university, successful completion of a national board examination through the Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, and practical experience through an apprenticeship, internship program. The vast majority of Canada's licensed pharmacists work in community pharmacies, another 15% in hospital or institutional pharmacies, and the remainder work in situations that may not legally require licensed pharmacists such as associations, pharmaceutical companies, and consulting firms. The wages for pharmacists, at about CAD $95,000, have been said to be slightly better than Australia but not as good as in the United States. This likely depends on what parts of Canada and the United States are compared. Wages being significantly higher in Canada than most developing countries, recruitment of pharmacists from South Africa and other countries with acute health workforce shortages to work in private franchise chains is subject to controversy. British Columbia pharmacist must be registered with the College of Pharmacists of British Columbia to practice in this province. A Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences is the minimum requirement to practice as a pharmacist in BC. The University of British Columbia is the only institution in the province that trains pharmacists. Professional associations include the College of Pharmacists of British Columbia and the British Columbia Pharmacy Association. Albert Eighth University of Alberta is the only institution in the province awarding pharmacy degrees, offering both Bachelor of Pharmacy and Doctor of Pharmacy programs. Pharmacists must be registered with the Alberta College of Pharmacists in order to practice in Alberta. Ontario the Ontario College of Pharmacists grants licenses to practice as a pharmacist in the province of Ontario. 
International graduates of pharmacy must successfully complete the pharmacist evaluating exam and pharmacist qualifying exam along with a studentship and internship to be registered as a pharmacist in Ontario. Canadian graduates of the pharmacy program can sit the qualifying exam directly without the evaluating exam. Topic: Germany. In Germany, the education and training is divided into three sections, each ending with a state examination. University, basic studies, at least four semesters. University, main studies, at least four semesters. Community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, industry, practical training 12 months, 6 months in a community pharmacy, after the third state examination a person must become licensed as an RPH, registered pharmacist, for a license to practice pharmacy. Today, many pharmacists work as employees in public pharmacies. They will be paid according to the labor agreement of ADEXA and employer associations. Topic: Japan. Topic: History. In ancient Japan, the men who fulfilled roles similar to pharmacists were respected. The place of pharmacists in society was settled in the Taiho Code 701 and restated in the Yoro Code 718. Rank positions in the pre heian imperial court were established, and this organizational structure remained largely intact until the Meiji Restoration 1868. In this highly stable hierarchy, the pharmacists—and even pharmacist assistants—were assigned status superior to all others in health-related fields such as physicians and acupuncturists. In the imperial household, the pharmacist was even ranked above the two personal physicians of the emperor. Contemporary. As of 1997, 46 universities of pharmacy in Japan graduated about 8,000 students annually. Contemporary practice of clinical pharmacists in Japan as evaluated in September 2000 focuses on dispensing of drugs, consultation with patients, supplying drug information, advising on prescription changes and amending prescriptions. These practices have been linked to decreases in the average number of drugs in prescriptions, drug costs and incidence of adverse drug events. Nigeria Training to become a registered pharmacist in Nigeria involves a five-year course after six years of secondary, high school or four years after eight years of secondary, high school i.e. after two years of advanced level studies in accredited universities. The degree awarded by most pharmacy schools is a Bachelor of Pharmacy degree B. Farm. however, in the near future, all schools will offer a six-year first degree course leading to the award of a Farm D. Doctor of Pharmacy degree. The University of Benin has started the Farm D program with other pharmacy schools planning to start soon. The pharmacy degree in Nigeria is unclassified i.e. awarded without first class, second class upper, etc., however graduates could be awarded pass with distinctions in specific fields such as pharmaceutics, pharmacology, medicinal chemistry etc. Pharmacy graduates are required to undergo one year of tutelage under the supervision of an already registered pharmacist a preceptor in a recognized and designated institution before they can become registered pharmacists. 
The profession is regulated by a government statutory body called the Pharmacists' Council of Nigeria. The West African Post Graduate College of Pharmacy runs post-registration courses on advanced level practice in various fields of pharmacy. It is a college jointly funded by a number of countries in the West Africa sub-region. There are thousands of Nigerian trained pharmacists registered and practicing in countries such as the US, the UK, Canada etc., due to the relatively poor public sector salaries in Nigeria. Pakistan. In Pakistan, the Farm D Doctor of Pharmacy degree is a graduate level professional doctorate degree. 21 universities are registered with the Pharmacy Council of Pakistan for imparting pharmacy courses. In 2004 the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan and the Pharmacy Council of Pakistan revised the syllabus and changed the four-year B Pharmacy Bachelor of Pharmacy program to a five-year Pharm. D. Doctor of Pharmacy program. All 21 universities have started the five-year Pharm. D. program. In 2011 the Pharmacy Council of Pakistan approved the awarding of a Doctor of Pharmacy degree, a five-year program at the Department of Pharmacy, University of Peshawar. <laughs> Poland Polish pharmacists have to complete a five and a half years Master of Pharmacy program at Medical University and obtain the right to practice as a pharmacist in Poland from District Pharmaceutical Council. The program includes six months pharmacy training. The Polish name for the Master of Pharmacy degree M. Farm, is Magister Pharmac G. M. G. R. Farm. Not only pharmacists, but also pharmaceutical technicians are allowed to dispense prescription medicines, except for narcotics, psychotropics and very potent medicines. Pharmacists approve prescriptions fulfilled by pharmaceutical technicians subsequently. Pharmaceutical technicians have to complete two years post-secondary occupational school and two years pharmacy training afterwards. Pharmacists are eligible to prescribe medicines in exceptional circumstances. All Polish pharmacies are obliged to produce compound medicines. Most pharmacists in Poland are pharmacy managers and are responsible for pharmacy marketing in addition to traditional activities. To become a pharmacy manager in Poland, a pharmacist is expected to have at least five years professional experience. All pharmacists in Poland have to maintain an adequate knowledge level by participating in various university and industry-based courses and arrangements or by undergoing postgraduate specialization. Sweden In Sweden, the National Board of Health and Welfare regulates the practice of all legislated health care professionals, and is also responsible for registration of pharmacists in the country. The education to become a licensed pharmacist is regulated by the European Union, and states that minimum educational requirements are five years of university studies in a pharmacy program, of which six months must be a pharmacy internship. To be admitted to pharmacy studies, students must complete a minimum of three years of gymnasium, similar to high school school for about 15 to 20 year old students program in natural science after elementary school 6 to 16 year olds. Only three universities in the whole of Sweden offer a pharmacy education, Uppsala University, where the Faculty of Pharmacy is located, the University of Gothenburg, and Umeå University. In Sweden, pharmacists are called apothecary. 
At pharmacies in Sweden, pharmacists work together with another class of legislated health care professionals called receptoria, in English so-called prescriptionists, who have completed studies equal to a Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy, i.e., three years of university. Prescriptionists also have dispensing rights in Sweden, Norway, Finland and Iceland. The majority of the staff in a pharmacy are apotextechnica or pharmacy technicians, with a three semesters education at a vocational college. Topic: <inaudible> Switzerland. <inaudible> 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 In Switzerland, the Federal Office of Public Health regulates pharmacy practice. Four Swiss universities offer a major in pharmaceutical studies, the University of Basel, the University of Geneva, the University of Lausanne and the ETH Zurich. To major in pharmaceutical studies takes at least five years. Students spend their last year as interns in a pharmacy combined with courses at the university, with focus on the validation of prescriptions and the manufacturing of pharmaceutical formulations. Since all public health professions are regulated by the government it is also necessary to acquire a federal diploma in order to work in a pharmacy. It is not unusual for pharmaceutical studies majors to work in other fields such as the pharmaceutical industry or in hospitals. Pharmacists work alongside pharma assistants, an apprenticeship that takes three years to complete. Pharmacists can further specialize in various fields, which is organized by Pharmasuisse the Pharmacists Association of Switzerland. Topic. Tanzania In Tanzania, pharmacy practice is regulated by the National Pharmacy Board, which is also responsible for registration of pharmacists in the country. By international standards, the density of pharmacists is very low, with a mean of 0.18 per 10,000 population. The majority of pharmacists are found in urban areas, with some underserved regions having only two pharmacists per region. According to 2007–2009 data, the largest group of pharmacists was employed in the public sector 44%. Those working in private retail pharmacies were 23%, and the rest were mostly working for private wholesalers, pharmaceutical manufacturers, in academia, teaching, or with faith-based or non-governmental facilities. The salaries of pharmacists varied significantly depending on the place of work. Those who worked in the academia were the highest paid followed by those who worked in the multilateral non-governmental organizations. The public sector including public retail pharmacies and faith-based organizations paid much less. The Ministry of Health salary scale for medical doctors was considerably higher than that of pharmacists despite having a difference of only one year of training. Topic: United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, most pharmacists working in the National Health Service practice in hospital pharmacy or community pharmacy. Pharmacists can undertake additional training to allow them to prescribe medicines for specific conditions. The Royal Commission on the National Health Service in 1979 reported that there were nearly 3,000 pharmacists employed in the hospital and community health service in the UK at that time. They were enthusiastic about the idea that pharmacists might develop their role of giving advice to the public, in British English, and to some extent Australian English, the professional title known as pharmacist is also known as dispensing chemist or more commonly chemist 
a dispensing chemist usually operates from a pharmacy or chemist's shop, and is allowed to fulfill medical prescriptions and sell over-the-counter drugs and other health-related goods. The new professional role for pharmacist as prescriber has been recognised in the UK since May 2006, called the pharmacist independent prescriber. Once qualified, a pharmacist independent prescriber can prescribe any licensed medicine for any medical condition within their competence. This includes controlled drugs except Schedule 1 and prescribing certain drugs for the treatment of addiction cocaine, heroin and dipipinone. <laughs> <laughs> Education and registration Pharmacists, pharmacy technicians and pharmacy premises in the United Kingdom are regulated by the General Pharmaceutical Council GPHC for England, Scotland and Wales and by the Pharmaceutical Society of Northern Ireland for Northern Ireland. The role of regulatory and professional body on the mainland was previously carried out by the Royal Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain, which remained as a professional body after handing over the regulatory role to the GPHC in 2010. The following criteria must be met for qualification as a pharmacist in the United Kingdom. The Northern Irish body and the GPHC operate separately but have broadly similar registration requirements requirements Successful completion of a four-year Master of Pharmacy degree at a GPHC accredited university Pharmacists holding degrees in pharmacy from overseas institutions are able to fulfill this stage by undertaking the Overseas Pharmacist Assessment Program OSPAP which is a one-year postgraduate diploma on completion of the OSPAP, the candidate would proceed with the other stages of the registration process in the same manner as a UK student. Completion of a 52-week preregistration training period. This is a period of paid or unpaid employment, in an approved hospital or community pharmacy under the supervision of a pharmacist tutor. During this time the student must collect evidence of having met certain competency standards set by the GPHC. A pass mark in the GPHC registration assessment formerly an exam. This includes a closed book paper and an open book, mental calculations paper using the British National Formulary and the GPHC's standards of conduct, ethics and performance. Document as reference sources. The student must achieve an overall mark of 70%, which must include at least 70% in the calculations section of the open book paper. From June 2016, the assessment will involve two papers, as before but the use of a calculator will now be allowed. However, reference sources will no longer be allowed in the assessment. Instead, relevant extracts of the British National Formulary will be provided within the assessment paper. Satisfactorily meeting the GPHAC's fitness to practice standards. <laughs> <laughs> United States In 2014 the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics revealed that there were 297,100 American pharmacist jobs. By 2024 that number is projected to grow by 3%. The majority of those pharmacists work in retail settings, mostly as salaried employees but some as self-employed owners. About 22% work in hospitals, and the rest mainly in mail order or internet pharmacies, pharmaceutical wholesalers, practices of physicians, and the federal government. All graduating pharmacists must now obtain the Doctor of Pharmacy Farm, D, degree before they are eligible to sit for the North American Pharmacist Licensure Examination to enter into pharmacy practice.
Topic: Pharmacy school accreditation. The Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education was founded in 1932 as the accrediting body for schools of pharmacy in the United States. The mission of ACPE is to assure and advance excellence in education for the profession of pharmacy. ACPE is recognized for the accreditation of professional degree programs by the United States Department of Education and the Council for Higher Education Accreditation Since 1975, ACPE has also been the accrediting body for continuing pharmacy education. The ACPE Board of Directors are appointed by the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy AACP, the American Pharmacists Association AFA, the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy NABP, three appointments each, and the American Council on Education one appointment. To obtain licensure in the United States, applicants for the North American Pharmacist Licensure Examination must graduate from an ACPE-accredited school of pharmacy. ACPE publishes standards that schools of pharmacy must comply with to gain accreditation. A pharmacy school pursuing accreditation must first apply and be granted pre-candidate status. These schools have met all the requirements for accreditation, but have not yet enrolled any students. This status indicates that the School of Pharmacy has developed its program in accordance with the ACPE standards and guidelines. Once a school has enrolled students, but has not yet had a graduating class, they may be granted candidate status. The expectations of a candidate program are that they continue to mature in accordance with stated plans. The graduates of a candidate program are the same as those of fully accredited programs. Full accreditation is granted to a program once they have demonstrated they comply with the standards set forth by ACPE. The customary review cycle for established accredited programs is six years, whereas for programs achieving their initial accreditation this cycle is two years. These are comprehensive on-site evaluations of the programs. Additional evaluations may be conducted at the discretion of ACPE in the interim between comprehensive evaluations. Education Acceptance into a doctorate of pharmacy program depends upon completing specific prerequisites or obtaining a transferable bachelor's degree. Pharmacy school is four years of graduate school accelerated pharmacy schools go January to January and are only three years, which include at least one year of practical experience. Graduates receive a Doctorate of Pharmacy upon graduation. Most schools require students to take a Pharmacy College Admissions Test PCAT and complete 90 credit hours of university coursework in the sciences, mathematics, composition, and humanities before entry into the Pharm program. Due to the large admittance requirements and highly competitive nature of the field, most pharmacy students complete a bachelor's degree before entry to pharmacy school. Possible prerequisites Besides taking classes, additional requirements before graduating may include a certain number of hours for community service, e.g., working in hospitals, clinics, and retail. Estimated timeline – 4 years undergraduate plus 4 years doctorate plus 1 to 2 years residency plus 1 to 3 years fellowship equals 8 to 13 years A doctorate of pharmacy except non-traditional, i.e. transferring a license from another country is the only degree accepted by the National Associate of Boards of Pharmacy NABP to be eligible to sit 
for the North American Pharmacist Licensure Examination Previously the United States had a five-year bachelor's degree in pharmacy. For BS Pharmacy graduates currently licensed in U.S., there are ten universities offering non-traditional doctorate degree programs via part-time, weekend or online programs. These are programs fully accredited by Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education but only available to current BS Pharmacy graduates with a license to practice pharmacy. Some institutions still offer six-year accelerated farm programs similar to six-year MD programs, though in both cases the issuance of a doctoral degree in less than eight years is controversial. The current farm D degree curriculum is considerably different from that of the prior BS in pharmacy. It now includes extensive didactic clinical preparation, a full year of hands-on practice experience in a wider array of healthcare settings, and a greater emphasis on clinical pharmacy practice pertaining to pharmacotherapy optimization. Legal requirements in the U.S. to becoming a pharmacist include, graduating from an accredited farm program, conducting a specified number of internship hours under a licensed pharmacist i.e. 1,800 hours in some states, passing the NAPLEX, and passing a multi-state pharmacy jurisprudence exam MPJE, Arkansas, California, and Virginia have their own exams instead of the MPJE and pharmacists must pass the Arkansas jurisprudence exam, California jurisprudence exam, and Virginia law exam, respectively. Residency is an option for postgraduates that is typically one to two years in length. A residency gives licensed pharmacists decades of clinical experience in an extremely condensed timeframe of only a few short years. In order for new graduates to remain competitive, employers generally favor residency trained applicants for clinical positions. The profession is moving toward resident trained pharmacists who wish to provide direct patient care clinical services. In 1990, the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy AACP required the new professional degree. Graduates from a farmed program may also elect to do a fellowship that is geared toward research. Fellowships can vary in length but last one to three years depending on the program and usually require one year of residency at minimum. Specialization and credentialing American pharmacists can become certified in recognized specialty practice areas by passing an examination administered by one of several credentialing boards. The Board of Pharmaceutical Specialties certifies pharmacists in 13 specialties Ambulatory Care Pharmacy Cardiology Pharmacy Compounded Sterile Preparations Pharmacy Critical Care Pharmacy Geriatric Pharmacy Infectious Diseases Pharmacy Nuclear Pharmacy Nutrition Support Pharmacy Oncology Pharmacy Pediatric Pharmacy Pharmacotherapy Psychiatric Pharmacy Solid Organ Transplant Pharmacy The Commission for Certification in Geriatric Pharmacy certifies pharmacists in geriatric specialty practice. The American Board of Applied Toxicology certifies pharmacists and other medical professionals in applied toxicology. Advanced practice pharmacist California pharmacists can apply for Advanced Practice Pharmacist licenses from the California State Board of Pharmacy. 
Senate Bill 493, written by Senator Ed Hernandez, established a section on the advanced practice pharmacist and outlines the definition, scope of practice, qualifications, and regulations of those holding this license. An APH can perform patient assessments, order and interpret drug therapy related tests. Refer patients to other health care providers Participate in the evaluation and management of diseases and health conditions in collaboration with other health care providers Initiate, adjust, or discontinue therapy pursuant to the regulations outlined in the bill qualifications to qualify for an advanced practice pharmacist license in California, the following requirements must be met. Hold an active pharmacist license in good standing with the California State Board of Pharmacy. Meet two of these three criteria. Possess a current certification in relevant area of practice. Completed a postgraduate residency earned in the United States through an accredited postgraduate institution. Provided 1,500 hours of clinical experience under a collaborative practice agreement or protocol to patients within 10 years of application, where clinical experience includes initiating, adjusting, modifying or discontinuing drug therapy of patients the APH applying for renewal must complete 10 hours of continuing education in one or more areas relevant to their clinical practice. Topic. Earnings and wages The American Pharmacy Journal of Education in 2014 reported the average salary around $112,160, according to the 2010 Pharmacy Compensation Survey. Directors of Pharmacy $125,200. Retail staff pharmacists $113,600 Hospital staff pharmacists $111,700 Mail order staff pharmacists $109,300 Clinical pharmacists $113,400 According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, Occupational Outlook Handbook, 2016-17 edition, median annual wages of wage and salary pharmacists in May 2015 were $121,500. Vietnam School students must take a national exam to enter a University of Pharmacy or the Pharmacy Department of a University of Medicine and Pharmacy. About 5–7% of students can pass the exam. There are three aspects to the exam. These are on math, chemistry, and physics or biology. After being trained in the university students receive a five-year bachelor's degree in pharmacy or they are university pharmacists university pharmacist to discriminate between college pharmacist or vocational pharmacist in some countries of the world these pharmacists are called pharmacist assistants. An alternative method of obtaining a bachelor's degree is as follows. School pupils study in a college of pharmacy or a vocational school of pharmacy. After attending the school or college they go to work. And with two years of practice they could take an exam to enter University of Pharmacy or the Pharmacy Department of a University of Medicine and Pharmacy. This exam is easier than the national one. Passing the exam they continue studying to gain three-year bachelor's degrees or four-year bachelor's degrees. This degree is considered equivalent to a five-year bachelor's degree. Notable pharmacists 
Charles Alderton, inventor of Dr. Pepper Caleb Bradham, inventor of Pepsi-Cola Etienne J. Kerr, Louisiana politician Buddy Carter, Georgia politician John Richard Fowler, Texas politician Praveen Gordon, previous Minister of Finance of South Africa 2009 Chuck Hopson, American politician Luke Howard, the father of meteorology Hubert Humphrey, U.S. Vice President 1965–69 David Jack, leader of research that developed major asthma drugs Ronnie Johns, American politician Bernard Lebers, American politician Fred Mills, American politician Edna O'Brien, Irish author and playwright Hans Christian Ørsted, Danish inventor of electromagnetism John Pemberton, inventor of Coca-Cola Willis Ricketts, American politician Friedrich Serturner, discovered morphine in 1804 Jim L. Smithson, Arkansas politician Joseph Swan, inventor of the incandescent light bulb Evan Vickers, Utah politician Jim Wilson, Los Angeles City Council member Achillelu Doanine, Comorian politician Tadosz Pankovic, Polish activist during World War II in Kraków ghetto See also